Hello my friends, welcome to the Prime Math Lovers YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to delve into a fundamental aspect of trigonometry, how to easily calculate and remember the exact values of sine, cosine, and tangent of for the angles 30, 45, and 60 degrees. Let's start with the right angle triangle with equal legs of 1, forming a perfect square sliced diagonally. Because the legs are equal, equal, the angles will be equal and can be calculated as 180 degree minus 90 degree divided by 2. So each angle is 45 degree. If we call hypotenuse A and other two legs B and C, using the Pythagorean theorem, we get A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. Or A squared is equal to 1 squared plus 1 squared. Or A squared is 1 plus 1. Or A squared is equal to 2. And then we find that A is square root of 2. So hypotenuse of this triangle will be square root of 2. For sine and cosine, we use the ratios of opposite over hypotenuse and adjacent over hypotenuse, respectively. So the sine of 45 degree will be opposite over Hypotenuse, opposite of this degree is B, which is 1, and hypotenuse is square root of 2. Also, the adjacent of this is, uh, or adjacent of this is 1, and hypotenuse is square root of 2. So, both sine of 45 degree and cosine of 45 degree are 1 over square root of 2, or if I multiply both nominator and denominator by square root of 2, both sine of 45 degree and cosine of 45 degree are square root of 2 over 2. And since tangent is the ratio of opposite to adjacent, tangent of 45 degree will be 1 over 1, which equal which is equal to 1. So tangent, tangent of 45 degree is 1. Now we have an, another triangle for 30 degree and 60 degrees. So in this triangle, legs are 1 and square root of 3. Applying Pythagorean theorem, we will have a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared, or a squared is equal to 1 squared plus square root of 3 squared, or a squared is equal to 1 plus 3, or a squared is equal to 4, and this makes a, or hypotenuse of the triangle, 2. By reflecting the triangle, we notice it's, it resembles an equilateral triangle, which means that this side is 2, this side is 2 as well, because this is reflected of the up, uh, upper triangle, and this is hypotenuse again, which is 2. So we have an equilateral triangle, it means the uh, all the angles inside the triangle is equal and is um, one third of 180 degrees. So this angle is 60 degree, and because uh, this um, angle is a right angle which is 90 degree and this is 60 degree, therefore this angle will be 30 degree. So applying the same trigonometric ratio as before, we find that sine of 30 degree is opposite 
over hypotenuse, opposite of 30 degree is 1, and hypotenuse is 2. So sine of 30 degree is 1 over 2. And cosine of 30 degree is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent of this 30 degree is square root of 3, and hypotenuse is 2. So it is square root of 3 over 2. Cosine of 30 degree is square root of 3 over 2. And uh, for tangent, we know that it is opposite to adjacent, which is opposite of 30 degree is 1, and adjacent is square root of 3. So it is 1 over square root of 3, and if we multiply, uh, multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of 3, we will have tangent of 30 degree is equal to square root of 3 over 3. In this triangle, we have a 60 degree as well. So sine of 60 degree is opposite to hypotenuse. Opposite is square root of 3, and hypotenuse is 2. So sine of 60 degree is square root of 3 over 2. And cosine of 60 degree is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is 1, uh, and hypotenuse is 2. So cosine of 60 degree is 1 over 2. And tangent of 60 degree is opposite over adjacent, opposite of 60 degree is square root of 3, and adjacent is 1, so at ta uh, tangent of 60 degree will be square root of 3, as simple as that. With these two triangles, you will be equipped to effortlessly recall exact values of sine, cosine, and tangent of 30, 45, and 60 degrees. Visual aids like these triangle visual aids like these triangles not only simplify the memorization process but also enhance understanding of uh, understanding by providing geometric context. So next time you're faced with a trigonometric problem, just think of these these two triangle and these two triangles and you'll have the solution at your fingerprint. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing this video with your friends. Thank you so much for your support. Wishing you an absolutely fantastic time wherever you are on this planet. Cheers!